Blender 2.82 has springs in claw physics. It's pretty cool to play around with, so let's take a look. We're gonna keep that block, it's gonna be our collider, and I'm gonna add some text. And let me just uh, rotate it appropriately, move it up a little. We're gonna write something fun, give it some 3Dness, which means we're gonna add geometry extrude by 0.05. And let me just pick it a fun font. Mikado is a fun font and it's free. All right, I like to center my text. Let's change the perspective to something more fun. I'm gonna make a collider uh, render in wireframe mode in the viewport display. Here we go, wire. And let's start by giving this font some physics. Over here, can't do it yet. Let's convert it in the object menu. Convert to mesh from curve meta surf text. Okay. Now we get a messy uh, mesh, but let's play around with that. We're gonna pick cloth and we can already play back, which is laggy and what the, oh yeah, of course, this here needs a collision physics. And squish. All right, first thing to notice is that already during falling, it's getting dirty. The mesh is getting, oh yeah, we're having gaps here. Yeah, yeah, gaps. Right, so to solve that, we just, I don't know if you have to return to this first frame, but I'm going to do that. Going to go to edit mode, select everything, and I actually created a shortcut for mesh, cleanup, uh, merge by distance. I made Alt C. You can right click, uh, change short, shortcut, Alt C. That's what I do. And now if we play this back, uh, it doesn't start uh, falling apart while, while falling. This seems a bit weird, but I'll take it. All right, but as you can see, without the springs, it just collapses. <laughs> yeah, this can be fun too, but I don't like it. I want to have some more fun, so let's give it some color. And I'm gonna make uh, the yeah the scene transparent. And uh, let's see, light it up. Where is it here? Let's light the scene up and actually render preview. And I guess more than white, we're gonna make it uh, uh, let's make it a bit orange. Okay, let it fall, let it fall. All right, so now let's apply the springs because that's what this is about. So in physics, scroll down to internal springs and now it's gonna be much more fun. Boing. Ah, oh man, I love that. Nice. All right, for this to be even more fun, I recommend rotating the floor that they land on a little. And let's recalculate physics and now they slide forever. Whoop! And the H is the winner! Except it might not actually fit. Nah, maybe the T? Maybe the T? I don't think anybody's gonna win actually. Yeah, it's gonna just reach frame 250 and that'll be all. Yep, that's all there is to it. Well, I like this one. I wanna render this one. Just gonna... Pick a nice folder to render to and um, render is over here. Render animation. And as usual, I forget to um, enable the filter. Hey, wh where is that? Okay, a filter, whatever. I, I don't remember which icon is which. So the cube here, we don't want in renders. Okay, let's start again. Control 12. There we go. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed watching me play around with this new feature. If you think I should play around with something in Blender that's also fun, let me know. Apart from that, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!